Hi students. Good morning to you all. Hearty welcome to all of you for today's session. Okay. Here is your English teacher Jyoti Mall. Let's start today's session. Children, in this session I am going to discuss the concluding part of our lesson, the beggar. Okay. Do you remember who has written the story? Yes, and then check out. So before moving ahead with the new portion, I would like to explain the topic that I taught you in the last class. Okay, a brief summary of the topic that I taught you in the last class. Listen. The beggar penned by and and check out which is the story of a poor alcoholic beggar who used to beg on rods as he was unable to find work he resorted to begging in order to survive himself one day he met sir g a wealthy advocate and asked him for some work he was wearing a ragged tanned tattered overcoat and had dull drunken eyes with the red spots on either cheeks he claimed that he was a school teacher in a village earlier and lost his job due to a conspiracy against him so he was begging to feed himself and survive sergi immediately recalled that he had seen the beggar on another street the other day at that time he had said that he was a student who had been expelled from his institution the lawyer was filled with a disgust and threatened to hand over the beggar to the police for cheating people by telling lies hearing this the beggar broke down and admitted that he was lying to people so that he would take pity on him they would take pity on him for his condition he confessed that he used to sing in a russian choir and was fired for his drinking habit hence he requested sergi to give him some work so that he could make a living for himself then sergi asked him whether he could chop wood for him at his house the beggar instantly agreed and sergi hastened and called out his cook olga to take the poor man into the woodshed and let him chop wood olga did so as she looked at him with a contempt Although he had become very weak due to his drunkenness he tried chopping wood as instructed when sergi looked at him through the windows of his dining room he felt sorry and ashamed of himself for making the sick man do menial labor in such a cold weather an hour later olga informed that all the wood had been chopped sergi ordered her to give him half a ruble for his work he added if he wanted he would come he could come on every first day of each month they would find work for him children this much portion we have learned in our last class hope you read the lesson thoroughly okay so let's move on to a, a new portion on the first of the month the thief made his appearance and again earned half a ruble although he could barely stand on his legs from that day on he often appeared in the yard and every time a uh, work was found for him now he would shovel snow and uh, now put the wood shed in order uh, now beat the dust out of rugs and mattresses every time he received from 20 to 40 kopecks and once even a pair of old trousers were sent out to him okay children uh, let's see the explanation so on the first of the month the waif made his appearance what's the meaning of waif children it's given in your textbook waif means a homeless person so on the first day of the month the waif the homeless fellow or the homeless person made his appearance that means again he came to sergi's house and earned half a ruble by how children by doing jobs by doing a different kinds of jobs so on the first month of that 
on the first day of that month also the homeless person came to sergey's house and earned half a ruble although he could barely stand on his legs what do you mean by the children even if he couldn't stand on his legs that means that day also he was drunk so he couldn't stand on his legs so from that day on he often appeared in the yard and every time work was done for him now he would shovel snow and now put the wood shed in order now beat the dust that means he had enough job that day he had enough job uh, they would find enough work for him on each and every day okay so that day also he got the job he wanted to shovel snow what do you mean by shovel shovel means a tool uh, resembling a spade so here a uh, shovel snow means uh, remove the snow uh, with a shovel then he was asked to put uh, the wood in a correct order in the wood shed or he had to arrange a wood in a wood shed then he was asked to beat the dust out of rugs and mattresses that means they would find enough work for him so every time he received 20 to 40 kopecks even a pair of old trousers were sent out to him so they gave him a pair of old trousers too okay when sergi moved into another house he hired him to help in the packing and hauling of the furniture this time the wife was sober gloomy and silent he hardly touched the furniture and walked behind the wagons hanging his head not even uh, making a pretense of appearing busy he only shivered in the cold and became embarrassed when the carters jeered at him for his idleness his feebleness and his tattered fancy overcoat after the moving was over sergi sent for him so once sergi moved into another house so that day also he called him to help him in the packing and hauling of the furniture what do you mean by hauling children hauling means transporting so when sergi moved into another house that day also he asked him to help him in the packing and transporting of the furniture this time the wife was sober gloomy and silent so this time that means at that time when sergi moved into another house the wife the homeless person was gloomy and he was silent he hardly touched the furniture what do you mean by he hardly touched the furniture yes he didn't touch any furniture and what did he do children yes he just walked behind the wagon or he just walked behind the cart hanging his head not even making a pretense of appearing busy that means he was not doing anything at all he just walked behind the wagon hanging his head then he only shivered in the cold and became embarrassed hmm? he was shivering as i told you it's a cold climate so he was shivering and at the same time he became embarrassed when the carters jeered at him jeered means made fun of him carters means the cart drivers so the cart drivers what did they do yes they made fun of him uh, for his idleness uh, for his weakness uh, for his tattered uh, fancy overcoat for his ragged tanned overcoat after the moving was over sergi sent for him so after the transportation of the furniture was finished uh, sergi uh, sergi called him well i am happy that my words have taken effect he said hand him a ruble here is for your pains i see you are sober and have no objection to work what's your name lashkov well lashkov i can now offer you some other cleaner employment can you write i can so after work sergi called him then he said yes i'm very happy that my words have taken effect so i'm very happy to see you here is for your pains here is for your pains here is the money for your work i see you are sober and have no objection to work i am very happy to see you you are ready to work what's your name lashkov he said lashkov my name is lashkov 
Okay, let's go. I can now offer you some other cleaner employment. Now, I'm going to offer you a better job. Can you write? Uh, then Leshkov answered, yes, I can. Then take this letter to a friend of mine tomorrow and you will be given some copying to do. Work hard, don't drink and remember what I have said to you. Goodbye. So what is there, children? Yes. Then he handed him a letter and he asked him to uh, meet his friend the next day. Then the friend, he was very sure uh, that his friend would help him. So what was his job, children? Yes, copying. It's a copying work. Work hard, don't drink, and remember what I have said to you. So he reminded him something. Work hard, don't drink, and remember what I have said to you. Goodbye, don't lie, do your work. Okay, so hard work, that is what is the thing that he meant. Please, at having put a man on the right path, Sergei tapped Leshkov kindly on the shoulder and even gave him his hand at parting. Leshkov took the letter and from that day forth came no more to the yard for work. So, please, at having put a man on the right path, so Sergei was very happy. He became very happy. What's the reason, children? Yes, he was very happy that he could move a person or he could move a beggar on the right path. He thought that he was able to transform a person uh, to a right path. So, Sergi uh, tapped Leshkov on his shoulder. Sergi tapped Leshkov on his shoulder kindly and even gave him his hand at parting. Then Leshkov took the letter and from that day onwards, Leshkov uh, didn't come to that yard. What's the reason, children? Yes, as we have seen, uh, Sergi had moved on to another house. Then two years went by. Then one evening, uh, Sergi was standing at the ticket window of a theater paying for his seat. He noticed a little man beside him with a coat collar of curly fur and worn a sealskin cap. This little individual timidly asked the ticket seller for a seat in the gallery and paid for it in uh, copper coins. So two years had gone. One evening, Sergi was standing at the ticket window of a theater for paying his for paying for his seat. Suddenly, he noticed a little man standing beside him uh, with a coat collar of curly fur. Hmm? With a coat, its collar was made of fur, and he had worn a cap made of seal skin. So this little individual timidly asked, what's the meaning timidly? Timidly means in a shy or a nervous way. So this little individual uh, timidly asked the ticket seller for a seat in the gallery and uh, paid for it in silver coins. That means, who was that person, children? Yes, Sergi cried, Leshkov, is that you? Recognizing in a little man his former woodchop also. Suddenly, Sergi recognized the man who was standing beside him. Yes, he noticed a little man beside him with a coat collar of curly fur and a worn silken sealskin cap. So, what he was doing there, children? Yes, he identified a person who was wearing a coat and its collar was made of fur and he had worn a cap which made of seals skin so that individual he was in a shy or in a nervous way asking for a ticket in a seat in the gallery and he paid it for it in uh, copper coins so Sergi recognized that person that little man his former wood chopper that beggar how are you Leshkov what are you doing how is everything with you so Sergi asked a lot of questions how are you Leshkov what are you doing now how is everything with you what is going on now are you okay now so a lot of questions are asked by Sergi the advocate all right I am a notary now and I paid 35 rubles a month. So, have you seen the children? Yes, Leshkov says, all right, I am a notary now. You know what's a notary, you see? The meaning is like this, children. A person authorized to perform certain legal formalities. 
especially to draw up or certify contracts deed or other documents for use in other jurisdictions so it's related to advocate so a person authorized to perform certain legal formalities it's enough hmm? a person organized to perform certain legal formalities okay so which are the legal formalities a uh, drop or certify contracts deeds or other documents for use in other jurisdictions so what is it doing now children yes uh, lechkov is a notary now and have you seen his uh, monthly salary children yes 35 rubles a month so he earns 35 rubles a month clear okay children thank heaven that's fine i'm delighted for your sake i'm very very glad lashkov you see you are my godson in a sense i gave you a push along the right path do you know you know you do you remember what a roasting i gave you eh i nearly had you sinking into the ground at my feet that day thank you old man for not forgetting my words so sir ji he express his happiness by how children yes the he thanked god thank heaven that's fine i'm delighted for your sake i'm very happy for you i'm very very glad lashkov you see you are my godson in essence i gave you a push along the right path you know so do you remember what a roasting i give you roasting children here roasting means it's an informal or humorous word here its meaning is Uh, scolding so do you remember what a roasting i gave you i am very happy i gave you a push along to the right path so you have changed i am very happy to see you transform like this so i nearly had you singing at the ground that my feet that day so on that day you were at my feet thank god old man for not forgetting my words you have changed a lot i am very happy to see you then what's the reply given by lashko thank you too said lord cough if i hadn't come to you then i might still have been calling myself a teacher or a student to this day yes by flying to your protection i dragged myself out of a pit so what's the reply given by lashkov children yes he also thank him if i hadn't come to you if i hadn't met you i might still have been uh, calling myself a teacher or uh, a student to this day so now with your protection or because of your protection i dragged myself out of a pit i have changed a lot i became a notary now and my salary have also been changed what is it yes now i am earning uh, 35 rubles a month so i am very happy to you so what did he say children yes he says if i hadn't met you still i have been a uh, begging myself as a teacher or a student to this day so because of your protection because of your concern i dragged myself out of a pit i had been a drunkard now i have changed a lot i changed a lot in my life so it's because of you so i am very glad indeed so he thank him a lot thank you for your kind words and deeds i am very grateful to you and to your cook god bless that good and noble woman you spoke finally then i shall be indebted to you to my dying day but strictly speaking it's your cook olga who served me so he continued what is he trying to say children yes thank you for your kind words and deeds so again and again he thank sergi thank you for your kind words thank you for your deeds i'm very grateful to you i'm very thankful to you and also to your cook so what do you mean by the children yes he thanked uh, sir jay's cook olga god bless that good and noble woman you spoke finely then and i shall be indebted to you to my dying day so he referred those days as dying days why children yes he was a drunkard then he was lying and he was uh, begging to survive himself so now what's his condition children yes he became a better person in an niche and every aspect so he thank sergi's cook olga who saved him so sergi couldn't understand that so he asked a question to leshkov how is that 
when i used to come to your house to chop wood she used to begin oh you sot you you oh you miserable creature there is nothing for you but ruin and then she would sit down opposite me and grow sad i look into my face and we oh you unlucky man there is no pleasure for you in this world there will be none in the world to come you drunkard you will burn in hell oh you and happy one so she would carry on you know in that strain i can't tell you how much misery she suffered how many tears she shed for my sake but the chief thing was she used to chop the wood for me <coughs> okay children listen so when i used to come to your house to chop wood she used it to begin so he recalled the incident as that happened those days in his dying days so when i used to come to your house to chop wood she used it to begin who used it to begin children yes olga the cook who oh, used zot what do you mean by children zot it's given in your textbook children a habitual drunkard so he called him he zot you are a miserable creature there is nothing for you but ruin so if you drink like this you will ruin your life you will spoil your life then what she would do children yes she would sit down opposite to him and look into his face and weep oh you unlucky fellow there is no pleasure for you in this world there will be none in this world to help you you drunkard uh, you will be a burn in hell you are an unhappy creature so she would carry you on like this hmm? so he couldn't see here it is children yes you unlucky man there is no pleasure for you you drunkard you will burn yourself in hell so you unhappy one so she call him a drunkard an unhappy fellow unlucky man what's the reason children yes because she was so sad about his condition she was so sad she was so sad see here is the sentence i can't tell you how much misery she suffered for my sake how many tears she shed for my sake so she shed tears for him she was so unhappy she was so sad to see him like that so the chief thing see then the chief thing was she used to chop wood for me do you know sir i did not chop one simple stick of wood for you so he disclosed the truth then what's the children yes yes i am very sure do you know sir i did not chop i did not cut a single wood for you she did it all so at last alashkov disclosed the truth that in my last class children i told you one sentence yes so now did you understand would sir is in children yes at that person the cook actually the cook changed him to this condition so she did not chop one single stick for him she did it all why this save me why i changed why i stopped drinking at the sight of her i cannot explain so he continues lashkov continued the beggar the drunkard continued i didn't understand why i changed why i stopped drinking i cannot explain only one thing i know owing to her words noble deeds a change took place in my heart so he realized that because of her words because of her noble deeds or because of her pain or the pain she had taken a change took him in his heart so she set me right and i shall never forget it so according to leshkov she is the only person she is the one and only person who was behind his change so she, i shall never forget it however it's time to go now there was the bell so there was the bell means uh, they were in front of a theater so they heard the bell so it's time to go now so he says or say here there goes the bell leshkov bowed and departed to the gallery so what did he do children yes leshkov bow bow his head in order to show his respect or in order to show his happiness to sergey and departed to the gallery children here comes an end of this lesson okay i hope you understood the lesson children read the lesson thoroughly and here comes an end of our portion also children next class onwards uh, let's discuss grammar portion so if you have time you can revise a reported speech children it's a very important portion for you for the 10th class also 
so uh, you can revise the portion uh, reported speech i'll give you notes too okay thank you so much have a nice day